Okay, welcome to chapter one, uh, tutorial one of my C++ DirectX 11 tutorials. Uh, today we're going to see how to do a simple hello world program and create a new project. Uh, you can find the full source code of all the projects on the GitHub. The link will be in the description. And uh, there's no uh, comments in the code in, uh, in the GitHub. You just have to follow the tutorials videos to, to understand the code. All right, so when you start Visual Studio, Visual Studio for the first time, you're going to, to have the start page here. So you're going to have the option for new project. If it's not there, you can always do it from the menu, new project. All right, so what we want is a C++ project and an empty project. Just create it wherever you want. We're going to iterate on the same project uh, constantly. So I'm just going to create tutorial basics here. You can call it the same. And I'm just going to click uh, OK. And it will generate the, the project for you and some empty folders. So it's basically going to put all your source file into source and all your header files and uh, headers. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So first of all, there's there's nothing here. So we're going, we're going to need to create our first file because we created an empty project. So I know in C Sharp, most of the time, if you create a new project, it's going to create you uh, your main function by default and such. So you go and you right click on the project, <clears throat> not the solution, and you're going to do add new item and you want a CPP C++ file. And we're just going to call it uh, main, All right? So you see it added a new source file and we're going to need, uh, so if I compile right now, all right? So you can uh, right click, right? And select build here at the top because by default, the, the compile options are not there. Okay, and what you can do is uh, click the build button here and you're going to see the error list, All right? So something you're going to notice here, there's already an error and we haven't done anything. So you need an entry point. So you need the main function. So those that are familiar with Java or C Sharp know that you need a static main in, the, in a class. Uh, do that do unity it's done for you under the hood so you probably don't know that but you just type a function called main and case sensitive all right and that's it now it shall compile and it does compile one succeed so if i run this oh you saw little windows pop here little black windows and then it went back that's because it goes in the main it creates the program and then it exit and then that's it so what we want is add a pause there at the, at the bottom. So we're going to include a file. So, so far this is a function definition. Okay, I'm, you're not learning anything uh, except in the languages you're used to use. There's probably, there's probably a class around it like this. All right, in C++ you can have global scope function and variable. Not everything has to be in a class. So, and the main certainly cannot be in a class. This is your entry point. Uh, and so what you're going to include here, you're going to type include with the little uh, hashtag there at the beginning, open uh, the brackets, IO stream, close the bracket. All right, so IO stands for input output and uh, stream stands for anything that can be streamed. So what we want, we want to print hello world in the, in, in, on the screen. So we want uh, output and we're going to output it to the, the stream of the screen basically. I'm just trying to explain why why it's called stream there, but uh, it doesn't really matter. You, you just include this. And what we're going to do first is do a pause. So we're going to type system pause. So that's going to send a message to, to the system saying pause. So if we run this, so you can click the, the play button here, it's going to say press indicate to continue. Then you press indicate, then it finished the program. So you probably saw those press in EK uh, to continue things in tools and third party tools that you've used be before in command line. Uh, that's how they do it. It's a system pause basically. So you can add as many of you want in your program. And now we're going to print hello world. So we're going to go access uh, stuff that we include here. So they include see it, see them like when you do import or on Java or when you do a using. So in Java, I think you will do something like import, iostream, and then in, in 
C sharp, you're going to do something like using file stream. All right. So include basically go include a piece of code that is somewhere else. That that file. See, I can I can even open it. It's some C++ stuff, right? So we're not going to go into this. You just have to include it. All right, so what we want is uh, access the standard STD for standard uh, functions. All right, so, and then little difference uh, with the other language. When you scope, instead of having a dot, you're going to do uh, colon, colon. All right, and we're going to use C out. So C out is basically console out all right it probably means something else but you can see it this way so console out so it's, it's like in c sharp if you do console dot out or something like this all right so and then we're going to print hello world into it Oops. all right so this is a weird operator this is c plus uh, plus I know it's a confusing, it's even confusing uh, for me after 15 years. I don't really like that syntax. I would have preferred just a plain function call. But this is what they use basically to say, uh, to st for streams, basically say transfer this into this. All right, you can understand it this way. So if I run this, you're going to see hello world, press any key to continue. All right, so maybe you want to add an enter there at the end. So you can add a standard n line so n l all right for n line and it's going to add a new line all right that's easy enough so now you're wondering do i have to put those things in front of every standard library things i'm using you don't have to you can type here so this is a name namespace all right all right, all right so so what you want to do is is using namespace standard so what it's going to do is going to this is really like the using and the import in java actually so you import a file here and then you're using the namespace so you can now remove those things and it will compile and run and voila so hopefully I'm not losing anyone here. It's pretty simple, including standard stuff. And I'm using the C out, transferring hello world into it, then transferring end of line, then I'm doing a pause. This is the bare bone of C++. So hope you learned something today. So we're going to switch into tutorial two uh, right now. Thanks for watching.